Hi there, Flaves from Coffee My Way. Just going to take you for a bit of a walkthrough of my work and play coffee ute. As you can see here, uh, it is a dual cab ute, a Hilux ute, that I have put a service body in the back and I've completely fit this out as an exceptionally functional mobile coffee unit, which also doubles as a recreational fit out as well. It's completely off grid, runs off battery and gas, there's no smelly or stinky or waste of money generator. It is insanely functional. Now let's have a, bit of a, look, a little bit of a closer look. So underneath the vehicle here, you've actually got 120 litres of water. Uh, so it's a huge storage facility for water there. Nice fresh water. Um, and there's also a sludge tank, so a waste tank of 50 litres there too. So whatever you're rinsing down the drains, you actually capture and you choose to relocate that where you choose to relocate that. So on the left hand side here, I've got a display fridge uh, for cold drinks on a hot day, just much like today. Um, they sell really well, you don't have to do anything for them, it's just an add-on um, at the point of sale. In addition to that, I house some biscuits here, a menu up top, nice and easy for people to stand here, place their order, and be able to, um, you know, definitely, you know, add some things to their order as well while they're standing here. So you can have a bakery display here with a few extra items. I've got the point of sale sit right here, I've used a square system, um, nice and easy, but there are, as you know, yeah, tens of them out there. So. Um, you can choose whichever you like really, but uh, in addition to that, I've got a storage pocket here. That storage pocket can house all my things that I need to keep the, the truck neat and tidy and clean, all my cleaning products. Um, in addition to that, it's probably about 200 cups worth as well, in a, just in that pocket. So the beauty of that is um, I don't have to house any of this gear in the cab with me. So I've got five usable seats. So that is a huge benefit there to have that pocket. So walking around here, this is the, um, as you can see, this is really the, the station where I work from. So I, I try my best to work from this side, obviously, and have customers standing on the other side. So they're standing, if you're a customer, you're walking up to my vehicle, you can see coffee right there, walking up, and this is where you stand and place your order behind me here. So you're look, looking at the drinks, you're looking at the baked goods, you've got the point of sale system there, and you can speak to me straight through there where the machine is so I can have a nice clear conversation um, whereas you know almost every coffee ute I've seen uh, you know you're working from the rear and everyone's coming up to you from behind so every order you're taking someone's standing there and this is their view they get you know they're talking to you from behind so it's a it's not a very functional way to work um, I, quite, I find it actually happened to me twice at one at one event um, just due to the, the layout and I found it really unsettling so it's um, a huge benefit to work from the side of the vehicle um, to, and you know you have got your add-ons plus it's just not an awkward way to encounter someone so walking through here um, I have chosen uh, all these items for a significant reason so right here the the main component of, of this fit out is the dual fuel Fresino Contempo coffee machine it's a, it's a it's a group two um, obviously very functional um, runs off gas and power so you can choose to either run it um, completely off grid or you can plug it in plug the truck into power and it runs straight off that as well so um, the only downside of running a gas machine versus a machine that runs off a generator or off mains power you've got a heat up time here in the morning if you're running it off power heat up time about 10 minutes and if you're running only off gas, you've got about a 40 minute lead time before it gets to temperature. So if you manage yourself in the morning and it's the first thing you do as you start to get ready for your day, uh, it's not a problem. Or if you flick on while you're at home, flick on the power and the gas at the same time, you've got about a 10 minute wait um, and then you're straight into it. So it's not a problem at all. And the benefits far outweigh the, that con. So um, on the left here, I've got a puck press. Um, a lot of people still like to tamp their coffee, but personally I think that the puck press is a sensational machine. Uh, it's housed here, you know, the grinder, quite simply, it's a Mazda grinder, uh, Mazda Jolly automatic. I simply see a customer coming, press the button, fills up a double shot. By the time we're having a discussion about their order, I'm already sliding that into the puck press. The puck press is doing its job. It's tamping to exactly the pressure that I want. Give it a slight clean over this knock box here and then it is good to go, ready to be housed, pouring my shot. So that in itself is a, a great addition to a mobile coffee fit out. 
uh, and not many have the space to have it, so I made sure I had the space. Um, and in addition to that, this um, knock box over here is different to anything you would have seen. So I've put a knock chute in there. Quite often you'll see in mobile copies, they'll have something sitting up here like this, which is very short and there's no bin, or they have something external, or it'd just be in a silly spot. Um, so what I've chosen to do there is get a knock box straight through, and it actually goes into this, this bin down here, this house bin here. So I can undo that at the end of the day, drop it straight into another bin. Or if I'm at a large event, I can just put a larger bin underneath that and I can just keep going, not have to worry about emptying anything at all. So it's a really handy feature. It's something that you wouldn't, wouldn't have seen before. Um, the engineer and myself came up with that and came up with that solution. So it's very, very easy um, and it's a fantastic thing when you're really busy that you don't want to be wasting your time um, emptying knock, knock boxes and knock chutes um, quite consistently. So that in itself is great. Um, over here, I've also made sure that we put in a jug rinser. It's very simple. Jug on top, push it down, rinse in a shake, and you're good to go. Uh, a lot of mobile coffee fit outs do not have a junk jug rinser, or they um, don't even use the sink to rinse their jugs. It's just a very simple tool. It's a great tool. It's a must have for me. The puck press and the jug rinser are an absolute must have. Um, and anyone says otherwise, um, I'm not sure how they're operating, but I think those two items are, are pretty simple. Um, above here, you can see I've got three levels of cups and additional storage facility up here. So I keep my other small cups here um, and a few extra items like honey and teas and other things like that. So nice and handy. Everything's within me standing in the center position. Everything I can reach with one, like one movement. It's not like a, a two-step process. It's, it's quite simple. So. I can grab my cup, take my order, while the order's happening, the grind's going in, into the puck press, a quick wipe off the top, shot's pouring, fantastic. While I'm doing that, this fridge here, it's an upright fridge right next to me, so simple, just grab milk out, and look at that. This is something you, that you will not see in mobile coffee vans, bench space. So. For some reason, and I don't know why, um, people have just overseen the fact that there's no bench space in mobile coffee fit outs. So I have ample bench space for all my jugs, multiple milks to be stacked up here. I can actually stack um, tetra packs. I can get four tetra packs sitting here, and I have this whole bench for myself as well. So that in itself makes your workspace super functional, super easy. Okay, so what I've done is, okay, I've grabbed my milk, I've poured it in my jug while I'm here. Turn my, turn my steam on, and I'm steaming my milk, pouring it into the cup. Bang, done. Oh no, wait, someone wanted a shot of sugar. One sugar, please. So over here, quite simply, bang, one sugar, and you've got your three, you've got your caramel, your hazelnut, and your vanilla as well. So um, all within arm reach, you've got your chocolate, you've got your chai, and you've got a shaker here as well. So I tend to see my shaker over on the left-hand side, so it's nice and handy and nice and easy. So quite simply, everything's all in one spot. The milk's here, the jug's there. Just steam my milk, pour that into, into there, good to go. As I'm reaching across, what I'll, I'll put my chocolate shaker on my cappuccino if I choose, if that's what I've ordered. And then right here are the lids. So you might think I'm just being a bit um, over the top or patronizing in regards to the layout and how simple this is but you'll be surprised at almost every other fit out you will actually go and physically stand at, how not functional it is, and how much you, there's double handling or you've got to reach the wrong direction twice, and then that slows you down, it makes you do more work in your day, and quite simply, it's just not as efficient or functional. So that's the reason why I wanted to take the time to really show you the difference between my fit out and other vans on the market. So as we walk around the vehicle, I'll just show you underneath here. So this is a extra few fittings I've just put in just for my own use. So here is just a tap for the outlet for the sullage tank. Um, here's some, some fresh water. That's hooked in the 120 litre tank, of course. Got an Anderson plug for 12 volt and also some cigarette plug for 12 volt. And under here, this is a gas fitting. So I've put these fittings in mostly for when I go away camping. Um, and they serve the purpose of hooking into outdoor showers, 
just to have water available and some power available, extra power available right here at the base of my vehicle uh, for stoves and other things. So I do have another video explaining to you how I've set up my camping vehicle here as a work and play coffee ute. Um, and yeah, you're welcome to watch that as well. Um, but if you're looking at it purely as a work purpose, um, that's just can be utilized for an extra, um, you know, I've plugged in from here before, I plugged in an extra freezer when I've been at a long-term event or an extra fridge, a 12 volt fridge. So in this pocket here, I've managed to fit with custom built toolboxes and it's fit two four kilo gas cylinders. So you won't have, you know, the gas anxiety that some other people on, in the system might have. So they're running housing one bottle. So if they run out, what do they have to do? They've got to run to the shops and get another bottle. All they need to carry a gas bottle inside their cab in their, in their, in their car with them, which is far from ideal, as you know. So opening this pocket, it's probably the most simple side, this side. It's quite simply, uh, a wash up station, a hand wash station with automatic water, as you can see, automatic, hand wash station, and paper towel. I do have this on extendable track so you can get in and around things, very easy to wash up in there. And as I've said before, all of the, the waste water goes in that salvage tank. So around this side is where I store my additional milk um, and other items as well sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. So as you can see here, you can fit six Tetra Packs here, another three along here, and you can fit an additional six two litre milks through here. I use this facility in here for extra uh, kind of food, perishable goods. And in here I house ice cubes um, for my ice coffee. So realistically, on a any given day, if I'm just loading up only my ute, no additional fridges or freezers, I can make about 240 coffees without running out of milk and included in that I can make around about 23 iced coffees so very rarely unless I'm at a significant event will I need to go beyond that capacity and if I know I'm going to a huge event all I do is throw in an extra 12 volt fridge freezer and I'm good to go um, all day long the power um, in this vehicle is located just behind this fridge so you can see the switchboard here and in behind here is actually where the batteries are located. So these batteries are 200 amp hours and I run a Victron um, inverter as well as um, AC charger, DC to DC charger. It is the top of the shelf, um, the top of the line product in here in regards to battery setups. Um, so I have no doubt that I can do at least nine hours in complete shade with no other feed in, work as hard and as fast as I possibly can and I will not drain those batteries. So, you know, at the end of the day, when you're driving around, it charges the batteries. When you're at home and plugged in the AC, it's charging the batteries. Or when the sun on the solar panels on the roof, you're also charging the batteries. And these are lithium batteries, so they're made to last, and the system is made to last. So everything about this entire fit out, I've made of the highest quality I could possibly do, and I'm very proud of it. Um, I think that you, if upon inspection versus any other fit out, in the Australian market, nothing will come close. So I encourage you to give me a call. Let me know that you're interested in starting into mobile coffee or you're looking to upgrade your current fit out in mobile coffee and you're looking to get something better than what you've had. Please give me a call. Uh, my number is 0432 646 756. It's um, a, a call that can save you a lot of time, a lot of angst um, and get you a product that's significantly better than all the others on the market. So. Uh, thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. Um, if you would like to see the full 270 degree awning completely out and show you what this looks like when you're set up for camping or for when you're set up for an event, um, it takes about 40 seconds to get that awning out um, and you can completely set up. So it's an amazing addition to this already amazing vehicle. So if you'd like to see that, please click on the other link. Um, it'll just have a quick um, overview of me basically peeling that awning open. Thank you very much for your time and all the best in your coffee adventure.